Hi, uh, my name is Guillem H. Uh, Point Pongilupi. I'm an illustrator for um, Barcelona, Catalonia. And, well, uh, here am I. Well, uh, a few, well, no, it's not years, maybe uh, two years ago, I did, I did uh, some illustrations about uh, Stormtroopers versus Aliens. It's a, a little bit jig thing. Uh, that I did in my free time, and it ha uh, uh, that uh, those illust illustrations have a lot of uh, rep um, repercussion on the on the social medias, and I suppose uh, that Leo uh, find those illustrations and contact me, and and that's the the first contact that we have, and I'm so happy <laughs> that that he's seen those illustrations. Well, it's a very interesting project because it's a, it's a very classic, um, I mean, the, the, all the, um, what's the name of that? All the um, uh, myth, uh, Greek mythology are uh, well known for everyone. No? You've seen it in movies, you learn in school, you, if you read, I don't know, the, um, the Iliada or the the Odyssea, all those things. No, it's it's. But uh, this project, it's it's different because you have to do, you have to did uh, all those all those um, classic things, but in in a darkness way. No, it's like most apocalyptical. So it's like Mad Max, but in the ancient uh, Greece. Yeah, uh, my first drawing is a uh, werewolf uh, king. It's uh, he's a cannibal, and he he have to look frightening, uh, and he's a character that um, uh, have a lot of detail because of the all the hair of his body. He has a schools in the like a necklace with the schools, and it's complex. And and I I really never work in. A, um, in a so uh, um, in a work with so many characters, I normally work in a in a landscapes or something more um, atmospherical, not not so character designed, and and it's it's cool to start with uh, with uh, with a werewolf king because it's a complex character and and it's like the first shot no of the project and it's. Go. It's very different because um, a, a character concept. It's just a character, no? You you have a little description of this, of the guy, and you design design the guy. You can do you can did some uh, some testings, no? But at least is you have to show just a character, and in the cover you have to show many things you have to show maybe um uh, normally when i when i when i when i did an illustration um i think always very uh, cinematic thing uh i i i i think in a in a second of a great scene a great battle scene and i thought if i can pause uh the movie in this second how how it looks like, no? And I always try to imagine my illustrations like like that. So in the covers that in we, uh, in the covers uh, for uh, Pantheon, uh, I I I did that, and and you have to uh, represent a scene with a lot of movement, with a lot of epicness, with uh, I don't know, it's. It's very different. Uh, you have to think about an, a scene, no? And, and pause in that moment. Uh, it's uh, there's a, a, a great history uh, before, and it will be a great history after, no? But in this moment, it's like wow! It, the the lightning crash the the sky, you know. The warriors are in in the ship. For example, for the I, I talk about the the Stila cover, no. And there's a lot of movement of water because a stila it's uh, going outside the emerge from the seas. Uh, 
all the the the, the guys of uh, in the ship are fighting against the sirens and it's a very complex scene for example this one and you have to uh, you have to pay attention in the composition in the colors in so many things no to have a great illustration that it's not it's not easy well so um i'm a digital artist so uh, i use many techniques so different than the the classic artist uh, we live in a in a very um in a great moment for the digital art because we have a lot of softwares we have um, many softwares every year new softwares we have 3d softwares we have uh, uh paint softwares like i don't know i use uh i use photoshop i used uh, 3d max i used uh, rage and the great thing about all these softwares is that they help you uh, to create a new kind of art that uh, we don't have it uh, since now because we have uh, the classic uh, hyperrealistic painting, I don't know, in oils or maybe you can have uh, aquarels, all the, all the classic uh, techniques. But uh, now you can uh, do some illustrations uh, that when the people look look them, they they don't know uh, how uh, did you do it. Uh, it's like that's a photography, that's a that's a illustration. That's what 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 the hell is that? No, and I'll, at, at last it's a mix of uh, many things. Sometimes I I I create a three D model. I put some lights to have a reference. And after I, I paint, I, I make a paint over this model, uh, this basic light that I create in 3D. Uh, some other times I can go outside and take uh, some pictures of uh, landscapes because uh, many of the classic painters, the classic painters uh, go to, a, I don't know, to a, in front of a, a landscape with a canvas and he starts to paint, but I can go with my computer, no? so it's it's uh, uh, from I have to go with my camera, take uh, the pictures that I need. Also, sometimes you can, um, for example, you can um, give more details to your illustration, uh, putting some parts of uh, you can cut some photographies that you did in, I don't know, for example, uh, to a tree. No, uh, you have a good uh, texture of a tree in, in, in one photography and you can use it to put it in the in the illustration and then you can paint over a little bit you can mix so many things that uh, you have a a, a a final result that uh, many years ago you can have it it's a it's a new kind of art um when you create a character it's very important to to know a little bit about his uh, story uh this is mm, so basic, no. You have to know if he is a good guy, if he's a bad guy, if he have traumas, if he, I don't know, just these kind of things. All the sociologic, socio, socio, uh, psychological, uh, psychological um, uh, aspect. Yeah. Um, so, because uh, all the psychological things of the of the character will be represented in her uh, dress, in her. Uh, I don't know, armor, in her face, in her posture, and all these kind of things. So this is uh, the first thing. After, um, I always uh, pay attention to the lights because um, working the lights is, uh, it's the drama, it's, you can show a drama just with lights, no? You can, it's, it's, it's very different if you have a, it's not necessary to you uh, to to draw a very a very um, deformed face. Uh, just with uh, lights, you can represent like uh, he's angry, uh, he's angry, uh, he's uh, happy. You know. So my two basic my my most important my. Uh, the things that I most pay attention always it's the light and and the psychological things and and after the 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 technique 
it's the one who I explain. I mean, well, uh, yeah, he's uh, absolutely tormented by, by his past. So I pay it, I pay a lot of attention of his face. Um, in the original story, he uh, he I think he cut his eyes. He uh, he cut his eyes, but. Uh, I think that uh, it's too much uh, scare, so I finally put these black tears around his eyes, uh, like tattoo it, no, like black tears tattoo it, uh, because he killed his father and he uh, have relations with his mother, her mother, and also I want to uh, put it in a in a pose that uh, he he. He seems um, he's a king, you know. He's it's a very um, he's a king and he's a warrior. No, it's I'm very traumatic. I I'm very uh, I I have a very traumatic past, but also I'm at at last I am a, I'm a king. No, um, and also I thought that he have uh, he 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 need. Uh, a very dramatic light. This illustration needs a very dramatic light, very bar um, baroque style. Or yeah, it's very. It's a. It's a. It's probably it's one of the most tragic uh, stories in the classic mythology. So it's it's one of my best. Uh, mm. Also, uh, he's not. Uh, he's not his fault. He he when he have relation with his mother he don't know, and when he killed his father he don't know that. It's after when he know about all those things that when his mind I suppose it's it's absolutely crushed no, and he cry these black tears no like oh my god what have I what have I done no. Um, a little bit of both. Because I thought about um, the character, I mean himself, but I also thought in the uh, uh, in the pose of the character because I I play games uh, many times, and it's cool that uh, maybe one of the coolest things of the of the miniatures are the the pose of the characters, no? Um, so. Obviously, I, I, I pay attention uh, on the on the pose because uh, I I thought uh, um, okay this 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 pose it will be on the character so it has it ha it it have to be cool because um, when you play it if the I don't know if that guy it's like uh, sit in you know it's it has to be a, a emotional pose and 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 cool for a play no for a. a for a ready for a battle too okay so goodbye uh, i hope um, you will enjoy the the game and all the beautiful art of all those beautiful artists and uh, see you